Registered Phenomena Code 013 Object Class Beta Purple Hazard Types Tychokinetic Hazard Emotional Hazard Climatological Hazard Immeasurable Hazard Containment Protocols Original Protocols RPC-013 is currently stored within a standard safety deposit box on Site-007's anomalous object wing. As of September 18, 2010, RPC-013's preliminary testing period has concluded, and the item has been reclassified as a lesser anomalous object. Transfer to Site-016, the warehouse, has been scheduled for October 20, 2010. Revision 2 Update in lieu of recent events, RPC-013's object class has been updated to Beta Purple. RPC-013 has been relocated to Site-062's containment wing. CSD-56321 has been assigned to keep RPC-013 in a cell, and is hereby expected to use RPC-013 during daily stress relief sessions. CSD-56321 suffers from intermittent explosive disorder making him prone to spontaneous episodes of unwarranted anger. This makes him a suitable candidate for RPC-013 containment. Should CSD-56321 expire, he is to be immediately replaced by a CSD candidate who shares a similar psychological profile. Revision 3 RPC-013 was last spotted in orbit over the Earth's northeastern hemisphere. As of May 5, 2011, the object has not manifested its tychokinetic properties and appears to be self-contained. Site-019 has been assigned to monitor RPC-013 at MST Whiskey-7, Space Force, is to remain on standby in the event that a retrieval effort is required. Revision 4 RPC-013 is currently held in Dr. Crane's office, on Site-066's psychiatric wing. Site-066 currently serves as the Authority's primary hub for evaluating newly acquired CSD personnel. Site-066 provides CSD recruits with physical and mental evaluations as part of the preliminary orientation process. RPC-013 is to be kept on Dr. Crane's desk during regular operating hours and is to be used at least once every 48 hours. All CSD candidates who meet with Dr. Crane for evaluations are required to make use of RPC-013 stress-relieving properties in order to facilitate the orientation process. Non-CSD staff stationed at Site-066 are also encouraged to make use of RPC-013 stress-relieving properties as needed. Outside of regular operating hours, RPC-013 is be stored within a maximum security safe inside Dr. Crane's office. Description: RPC-013 previously designated LO-221, refers to a series of anomalous toys distributed by Amazing Co. Instances of RPC-013 are comprised of an indestructible elastomer material and come in a variety of colors and shapes, usually no larger than 7 cm in diameter. Despite the inconsistency in their appearance, all instances of RPC-013 are marketed as stress relief aids. The Authority is currently in possession of one instance of RPC-013. This particular instance has displayed two anomalous properties, which appear to manifest independently from each other. 1. RPC-013's primary anomalous properties manifest when it is used in a manner similar to a stress ball. A stress ball is a malleable toy which is squeezed in the hand and manipulated by the fingers, ostensibly to relieve stress and muscle tension. When an individual who is experiencing significant distress takes hold of RPC-013 and squeezes it, the object will absorb all negative emotions, effectively altering the individual's mindset and placing them in a more optimistic mood. RPC-013 has thus far shown itself capable of temporarily treating social anxiety, post-traumatic stress, and chronic depression. At this time, RPC-013's therapeutic effects appear to be solely beneficial and no negative side effects have been documented. It should be noted that excessive usage of RPC-013 will often lead to a small percentage of individuals developing a dependence on it. This dependency is most prominent among individuals who suffer from addictive compulsions 
and is not related to RPC-013's anomalous effects. 2. RPC-013's secondary anomalous effects manifest when the object's primary stress-relieving properties are neglected for a prolonged period of time. Should RPC-013 go unused for longer than 48 hours, the object will begin to deliberately manipulate probability in order to create circumstances which might induce stress in any individuals present. These circumstances will typically range between benign inconveniences to large-scale disasters and will actively persist until at least one stressed individual uses RPC-013 as intended. Anecdotal evidence suggests that the lethality rate of these circumstances rises in proportion to the amount of time that RPC-013 goes unused, with the object's range of influence capable of expanding indefinitely. To date, the only proven method that can prevent RPC-013's tychokinetic properties from manifesting requires consistent usage by one or more individuals who are experiencing stress. Acquisition RPC-013 was delivered directly to Site-007 through an as-of-yet unknown means. On the morning of August 14, 2010, custodial staff witnessed a package bearing the Amazing Co. logo suddenly materialize inside a bathroom stall within one of Site-007's laboratories. An initial inspection of the package's exterior revealed no anomalous properties, and after unboxing its contents, RPC-013 was discovered inside, along with a thank you letter and a mail-order catalog featuring various Amazing Co. products, including RPC-013. Thank you letter from Amazing Co. Sick throughout. Dear esteemed customer, Thank you for being a loyal patron of the Amazing Co. family brand. You have many Amazing Co. product in your possession in this moment. Wow, bravo! Hats off to you, customer. You are truly a loyal patron, and loyalty deserves reward. Yes, that is why we have decided to enroll you, customer, in the newly formed Amazing Co. Customer Loyalty Program. What is Amazing Co. Customer Loyalty Program, you ask? You will love. From now until death. We will send you sample of new product. Yes, that is right. You customer will get to try new product for free. This year's free sample is Stress Buddy from the Amazing Co. Stress Be Gone product line. We know you work hard. We can see your hairs are turning more gray each day from all the stress. So please let Stress Buddy help you. Simply take the Stress Buddy and hold in hand, and squeeze and let all your bad vibe melt away. We hope you will enjoy this product like we enjoy your loyalty. Note, Stress Buddy targets when you are most vulnerable. Stress Buddy is meant to help relieve stress caused by regular usage of Stress Buddy. By agreeing to accept the use Stress Buddy, you also accept to take on full liability of any bad this item may cause. Amazing Co. is not liable for any injuries, despair, mania, or death caused by any of its products. Please use responsibly. Excerpt from the Amazing Co. Mail Order Catalog an advertisement featuring RPC-013, taken from page 1553 of the catalog. Sick throughout. Do you ever having a bad day? Fired from place of job? Lose all dignity to ex-wife divorce? Demons steal your dreams? No more! Amazing Co. presents new product. Stress Relief Buddy. Let Stress Buddy return bring bliss back to life and peace to mind and smile to the lips. Just hold the buddy in hand and squeeze with all your anger. Now available in over 101 variety. Collect them all. Incident Logs Site-016 Incident Report Confidential Incident Report Incident Number 013-016-1 Location Site-016 Incident Date November 30, 2010 Observed by Site-016 Staff Incident Details Following the relocation of RPC-013 to Site-016, several staff members noted an inexplicable increase in accidents that occurred while working on the eastern wing of the facility where the object was housed. The first recorded incident involved researcher Creed spilling coffee over his lap while completing inventory duties, resulting in second-degree burns. This incident was followed by a series of similar occurrences with a notable number of staff members suffering on-the-job injuries while operating within the Eastern Wing. On November 30, 2010, at approximately 0900 hours, part of Site-016's Eastern Wing was destroyed by an explosion, which resulted in 
staff members being severely injured and anomalous objects being damaged. A follow-up investigation found that the explosion was caused by a previously undetected gas leak adjacent to RPC-013 storage unit. Despite the notable damage to Site-016's eastern wing, RPC-013 storage unit remained unaffected by the explosion. Aftermath Due to the fact that its storage unit remained intact, Site Administration suspected RPC-013 of having unaccounted tychokinetic properties. Object reclassified as Greater Anomaly and transported to Site-062 for additional testing. Notes. Good riddance. I knew there was something off about that butt-ugly thing. Leave it to Amazing Co. to create a stress ball that literally creates stress. Keep it the hell away from us, please. Dr. Wells Site-062 Incident Report Confidential Incident Report Incident Number 013-062-1 Location Site-062 Incident Date January 26, 2011 Observed by Colonel Finlayson Incident Details CSD-56321 was assigned to keep RPC-013 in a cell and tasked with using the object during daily stress release sessions. These sessions were initially successful, and RPC-013's secondary tychokinetic abilities did not manifest during this time. On the twelfth day of his scheduled sessions, CSD-56321 claimed to have achieved a sense of emotional enlightenment and no longer felt the need to use RPC-013. Despite these claims, CSD-56321 was instructed to continue using RPC-013. On the day of his sixteenth session, CSD-56321 failed to respond when security personnel attempted to retrieve him from his cell. Upon entering CSD-56321's cell, security personnel discovered that CSD-56321 had expired overnight. An autopsy would later reveal that CSD-56321 had succumbed to carbon monoxide poisoning, caused by external emissions that had leaked into his cell through an air duct. No other parts of the facility were affected. Aftermath Following CSD-56321's expiration, Site-062 elected CSD-75542 to serve as RPC-013's new host. However, RPC-013 was misplaced before it could be transferred into CSD-75542's care. A thorough search of Site-062 was performed, but Authority personnel were unable to locate RPC-013. It is believed that RPC-013's tychokinetic properties were responsible for causing containment breaches on Site-062 during this time. RPC-013 was located a month later after a communications satellite launched from Site-062 unexpectedly detonated shortly after reaching the thermosphere. RPC-013 was spotted amidst the satellite debris and appeared to be trapped within Earth's orbit. Notes. I won't mince words. The boys really shat the bed on this one. Now we've got an unpredictable anomaly freely moving about in space. The site director's pissing himself as I write this. Space is beyond our jurisdiction. We'll let the Moon Cadets deal with this. Good luck. Colonel Finlayson Site-019 Incident Report Confidential Incident Report Incident Number 013-019-1 Location Earth's Orbit, Northeastern Hemisphere Incident Date May 19, 2011 Observed by Site-009 Staff Site-019 Staff Incident Details RPC-013 remained in orbit at approximately 405 km above sea level, moving at a consistent speed of 16,656.71 km per hour. Several chunks of space debris gathered around RPC-013 during this time, creating a halo around the object. RPC-013 remained in this state for several months without any notable incidents, leading observing researchers to believe that RPC-013 had managed to self-contain itself. On the early morning of May 19, 2011, a spontaneous geomagnetic storm would cause a large-scale blackout over the majority of northern Russia, including Site-009. This solar storm also caused radio communication systems to malfunction over most of the Asian continent, leading to the disruption of Authority operations. Unlike previously recorded geomagnetic phenomena, 
This event appeared to last for an indefinite period of time, and its effective range continued to expand at a gradual pace. This prompted Authority assets to launch an investigation, which would lead to the discovery of RPC-013 at the epicenter of the disturbance. Aftermath After extensive deliberation, MST Whiskey-7 Space Force, was granted permission to use RPC as a means to temporarily contain RPC-013. The retrieval team was successful in extracting RPC-013, and the geomagnetic storm dissipated shortly after the object's acquisition. RPC-013 was promptly transported to Site-019 before being extradited to Site for further evaluation. Notes, object remains undamaged, despite being exposed to the harsh conditions of space. It still works too, I gave it a few squeezes. I was ready to rip my hair out from frustration. Definitely feeling better after using it. No accidents either. Maybe the best way to contain this thing is to just use it. Everyone gets stressed. Pass it around. Occam's razor and all that. Dr. Shin Site-066 Incident Report Confidential Incident Report Incident Number 013-066-1 Location Site-066 Incident Date October 11, 2011 Observed by Dr. Crane Incident Details I am filing this report per the request of Site Director RPC-013 has been successfully integrated into Site-066's CSD orientation program. Between the constant influx of new CSD recruits who come into my office for preliminary evaluations, and the veteran personnel who visit me as part of their bi-yearly review, there is no shortage of stress. Suffice to say, keeping RPC-013 in my office and regularly using it as a therapeutic device appears to be serving well as a means of containment. I've read all the incident reports, and it's still hard to believe that a simple stress ball could create so much mayhem. It's even more difficult to believe that such a destructive object can be contained by such simple means, but I digress. There are no incidents to report in regards to RPC-013's current arrangement. As long as we maintain the status quo, we'll be fine. Aftermath CSD personnel are quite fond of RPC-013. Permitting new candidates to use it has proven to be quite effective in facilitating the transition into their new role. It's much easier and cheaper than tranquilizers. Notes. By the way, is this thing animate? Previous reports don't mention anything about it, but I swear I've caught it smiling at me. Maybe I'm just overworked. Dr. Crane